Today we're going to talk about the best buys under $50 to make your life in law school just a little bit better. This is a companion video to the expensive, uh, nice to have, but not necessarily necessary purchases in law school. These are the things that really punch above their weight that you can get for pennies on the dollar. So stick around and learn how you can make your life in law school just a little bit better. Okay, so the first cheap product that I would recommend is this humble book stand. Um, it weighs only about an ounce, it folds up, you can put it in your backpack, you can carry it around, you can travel with it almost anywhere. Uh, and the reason is because you can't avoid reading your casebook. Even if you use our methods and uh, limit the amount of casebook reading you're going to do, you're still going to have to read out of your casebook every once in a while, and that's okay. Um, but because you're going to be spending so much time reading out of a huge heavy case book, uh, this little foldable book stand is invaluable. The way it works is you just unfold it, you take your case book, you slide it in, and then you expand it out a little bit, which is hard to do while I'm actually carrying the thing. But you, can, you sort of get the idea that you can put it on your desk, read out of the book while working on a laptop or iPad or, or taking notes, and then you don't have to crane your neck while looking at the book while it's vertical. It's at a 45 degree angle and you can take it anywhere. You can take it to the library. You can uh, take it into a friend's apartment when you're studying together. You can do just about anything. Um, and uh, for $15 on Amazon, uh, I wouldn't go anywhere in law school without this thing. You'll use it for hours. It's really cheap. I've seen a bunch of uh, law students on YouTube talking about this thing. I used it when I went to law school, and I'd recommend anyone uh, who is either going to law school or in law school get one of these things and, and save your back. By the way, you can find links to all of these products in the description below. Um, so I recommend getting one of these little book stands. It'll help save your neck, it'll help save your back, and it'll just make reading your case book just a little bit more pleasant, uh, which when you're reading these cases, uh, anything you can do to make your life a little bit more pleasant is probably worthwhile. So the next thing I recommend is getting either a whiteboard and dry erase markers or some butcher paper. You need something to help diagram the law itself. The law is complicated, and when you get to an issue spotting hypothetical, it sort of flows like a decision tree. You have the causes of action, the elements under the causes of action, the definition of the elements, sub-elements, and you need to see how that all flows together. And diagramming, uh, usually uh, on a wall uh, with uh, markers, really helps to uh, understand how things fit together. I think everyone's familiar with a dry erase board, or you could even use a chalkboard, uh, but I prefer butcher paper. Butcher paper is great because you can use any marker and save on expensive whiteboard dry erase markers. The best part is, though, you can save it for later. One roll can last your entire semester. You can also just buy a bunch of dry erase markers and write on the window a beautiful mind style. As long as you're willing to look like an insane person while you are writing on the window with dry erase markers. Uh, of course, I've done crazier things to save money in law school, so I wouldn't blame you. Okay, the next thing I'd recommend in law school are some earplugs. Now, I think everyone's uh, familiar with these little foam things that you put in your ear, uh, but earplugs have a couple of advantages in law school in particular that, that might not be obvious uh, on first glance. In law school, a big problem that almost everyone has is getting enough sleep. Earplugs can really help when your neighbor decides to hold an impromptu band rehearsal at midnight, or, or if your roommates have a very different sleep pattern than you, or if you just live on a busy street. Uh, earplugs, if you use them uh, consistently, can help you create a consistent sleep pattern that isn't interrupted if there happens to be stuff going on that particular night. Uh, it takes some time to get used to them, so I would recommend using them even when there aren't loud noises going on in, in times of an emergency. I would just get in the habit of using them so you can get good sleep every night. Also, uh, earplugs can help you create consistency in your practice tests. Uh, now, we have a, a number of videos that talk about how practice tests are one of the most important things that you can do to increase your chances of getting a better grade in law school, and just see the link down below. But one of the problems of doing practice tests at home is that it is very different from taking an exam in class. Uh, 
when you take a law school exam in class during the finals, the sound of uh, clacking keyboards is absolutely deafening. And then there are other people that will be coughing, they'll be rustling bags, they'll be getting in their backpacks. All of these noises and sounds uh, will not be present when you are taking your practice test. You're probably taking your practice tests at home under ideal conditions, which is fine, but you don't want to get used to taking practice tests under absolutely ideal conditions. If you go into the final with earplugs though, you reduce some of that sound and it is more similar to the way that you practice tests at home. And uh, as sort of a Pavlovian response, you can uh, associate earplugs with going into test mode. The second that you put earplugs into your ears, your mind will think, okay, this is test time. Now it's time to pull out all the stops and you'll be in the mental state necessary to crush the exam. The next cheap thing that I would recommend in law school is a physical calendar, not a digital calendar like on, in Outlook or in Gmail, but an actual paper physical calendar. Uh, these things are invaluable. There is not as much time in your semester as it first appears. And what starts out is eight to 10 weeks. It, it seems like an eternity, but that will go by so fast. Uh, and you need to be able to see where you are in time, how much time is left, so that you can make sure that you finish your outline, you can make sure you start doing practice tests as early as possible, and that you are ready by the time that finals come around. And a fiscal calendar helps you see at a glance where you are. Are you falling behind? And chances are yes. And the sooner that you realize that you simply don't have time to do these insane uh, multi-page rainbow style case briefs, the better. You need to jettison that as quickly as possible because there just isn't enough time in the semester to do all of that uh, unnecessary work. And a physical calendar will show you where you are in time um, and help you plan everything out. Uh, better to do it sooner rather than later. Uh, getting a physical calendar will save so much time and anguish and really help you plan out your semester. Okay, so the last uh, relatively inexpensive product that I would recommend for law school is an alarm. I know that sounds crazy, but get a separate alarm. Do not use your phone. Do not let your cell phone reside anywhere near your bed. Uh, I, now I keep my cell phone outside of my bedroom. Uh, it used to be that I would get work emails all throughout the night. Uh, and in a Pavlovian response, I would pick up the cell phone, interrupt my sleep, and look at the, uh, the emails. But the truth is, whether you're in a law practice or if you're in law school, the emails that come in at two o'clock in the morning are just not that important. They can wait until the next day. So uh, what I recommend, and this is a little bit on the pricey side, but you can get cheaper options, uh, is a sunrise alarm. These things are great. Um, unlike a traditional alarm that just has a blaring sound to wake you up, uh, this displays uh, a light gradually coming on like a dimmer, like a reverse dimmer, to uh, convince your body that it's sunrise uh, and that you should get up gradually as the sun rises. And this works even when it's pitch black outside. There are sounds that go along with it, but this is a much less jarring way uh, to wake yourself up. And I am so much more rested uh, when I wake up with a sunrise alarm as compared to a blurring sound um, and I got a better night's sleep because I separated my cell phone uh, from the alarm function. There is a great uh, video on YouTube of uh, Simon Sinek where he talks about the the dumbest thing that the millennial generation does, myself included, it used to be, was using their cell phone uh, as an alarm and being too cheap to buy a separate physical alarm. I wholeheartedly agree with him. Just get some other uh, clock radio uh, if you wanna go the cheap route or if you wanna spend a little bit more money, you can get any number of uh, 30 to $100 sunrise alarms. Uh, they all seem to work pretty well. Uh, a separate alarm will allow you to get more sleep. It'll wake you up uh, more gradually. You'll be in a better mood and you'll be more alert for your law school classes uh, throughout the day. Studies show that a lack of sleep prevents the ability to memorize, internalize information, and remember. So just an hour of sleep more per night alone could put you above your classmates in law school. So law school is all about creating a competitive advantage as compared to your classmates. These little things, whether it's a foldable book stand so you save your neck 
uh, from neck pain and allow yourself to study just a little bit longer every day in the library or a separate physical alarm to get more sleep at night uh, and to wake up more alert. Uh, these things may not be huge advantages in and of themselves, but they compound uh, over time and allow you to study a little bit longer, be more alert, uh, and just be a better law student all around. And when you're graded on a curve, as you are in law school, these little things add up and allow you to get an advantage over your classmates. And that's what Legal Eagle is all about. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. Uh, you can download our full guide to law school down below. Stick around until next time where we give you even more tips on how to crush law school here at Legal Eagle. Uh, the next email, get an actual fit, you know what, I should, you can even put it down on a desk uh, to, pre no, screw that, all right. It helps you create a uh, consistent sleep, on a busy sleep, or the